hello everyone welcome to my youtube channel my name is evidence and in today's video i am going to show you how to create a line graph in tableau let's just look at cells by order date so let's go ahead and bring cells into the view and let's put it in columns or let's put it in rows so if you click this button right here it will switch between columns and rows and let's look at order date. So if you bring order date into columns, this is what it looks like by default. And that's basically it. That's how you create a line graph in Tableau. So Tableau, you can create a line graph. A line graph, right, shows you continuous data over time. And in this case, we are looking at cells by date. So, and this is your cells by different years, 2016, 2019. For example, now this is where you can have run into problems a little bit. As you can see, there's a plus button right here. If you click on that plus button, you get this. This doesn't look any good. This is not continuous data. This is discrete data. As you can see right here, this is broken up into 2016, which is the year, and then the quarter. Quarter 1, quarter 2, quarter 3, and the 2017, 2018, 2019, and then the different quarters. And if you even go a step further, oh, that looks even more ugly. It doesn't look very good, right? This is because this is discrete data. And you know this is discrete data because these icons right here is blue, all right? And this is broken up into different panels. So that's how you know you're dealing with discrete data right here. That's how you know Tableau is treating this as a discrete data set. Is this is treating it as discrete dates so to create a continuous view let's go back here to the first level to create a continuous view you have to change this discrete date into continuous date and to do that you click on this drop down and from one of these you choose what you want to look at so here here to more right here all of this is considered discrete data in tableau and this list right here is considered discrete data in tableau and you can see an example of what the data is going to look like so let's just change this to year discrete and as you can, i mean continuous and as you can see as i change this from discrete data to continuous data the icon changed from blue to green and you can see the different data point and it even looks different now if we click on this plus button right here there we go we have like our continuous data now the data is represented as a continuous timeline instead of a discrete timeline if we click on this plus button here now we go all the way to month now our data is represented as discrete i mean as continuous timeline instead of a discrete timeline now you have a good looking line chart in tableau and of course you could come down here you can choose week number now that looks even better that looks like a spike like not like an outlier which might bring up the question like what's happened in this month on this day that we have such a huge spike in sales in on that day and that basically it that is how you create a line graph in tableau remember a line graph just shows you continuous date over time like continuous values over time right and in this case i'm using this order date as my columns here and i'm using the cells as the rows and the default in tableau is discrete values and as you can see dimensions are usually discrete values they are all blue and measures are continuous values and i'm just going to Take this here. This is ship date. This is not an um, order date. Take it into the view and it's discrete by default. And if you choose different discrete values, you can kind of see what it looks like. 
but when we change this into continuous, now we have a good looking line graph. That is basically it for this video. That is how you create a line graph in Tableau. And if you want to master Tableau, if you want to become really good at Tableau and master it, I suggest you check out my online course at machinelearningeducation.com slash codeless. And in this online course, I show you how to analyze data without coding. And in this online course, I go over a whole lot of things. This is just the basics of the things I'm going to teach you in this online course. And this online course just shows you how to master Tableau. And in the future, I'm going to add more and more stuff to this online course. But if you want to learn the difference between discrete and continuous values, and if you want to become really good at Tableau and master Tableau, I suggest you check out my online course at machinelearningeducation.com slash codeless. And this is just a sample of the things you're going to learn in this online course. And also, you can go to my website at evidencen.com. This is my primary website and where I have my blog and everything. And also, I have free data science resources for you at machinelearningeducation.com slash free. I just go to machinelearningeducation.com and go to free data science resources and be able to get to this page too. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching and I'll talk to you on the next one. Bye.